This is a tutorial on how to download both the content package for BoardWorks as well as the executable file that lets you view all the content. So the first thing you need to do is open up Google Chrome. And you have to be signed in so that you can access your Google Drive. So you click on the waffle. Click on Drive. And it has to be your Mount Carmel Gmail address. And then if you look over on the left hand side, you've got My Drive and you should also have Team Drives. So you want to click on Team Drive. And Team Drive is basically the same as the faculty shared on the server, but it's in, in the cloud so that you can access it anywhere. And then you click on OLMC Faculty Shared. And then you'll see the BoardWorks folder. Double click that, open it. This is the launcher, and this is the content. So the content zipped, you'll have to unzip that on your desktop, and I'll show you how to do that. But for both of them, you can right click and download. Then click on the second one, right click, download. It will give you a message that it can't scan the zip file for the download. That's fine. It's a safe file, so you can just download it. And you'll see the can't scan file for viruses. Just download anyway. should save it to your download folder. And it also should have the bar down at the bottom here that shows you what downloaded. And if you click on the caret, you can click show in folder so that you can verify exactly where it did save it. The zip file is over seven gigabytes in size, so it's going to take a long time to download. When it fish finishes downloading, like I said, you can show in folder, and it'll open up the folder. And in this case, it saves it to downloads, which it should have saved it in downloads for you as well. Uh, the compressed zip file with all the content is called PC version. If you double click that, it'll show you the folder and you click select it, click extract all. It'll say select the destination, just leave it as the default, click extract. And the same thing here, it's going to take a while for it to, to extract because the file is so large. When it's done extracting, you'll have a new folder. And if you double click it, you'll see all the content, English, history, math, science. And within each one of those folders, are, it's broken down, the content's broken down even more. And most of these are interactive slideshows. So if you click on middle school history, see all the different files. And you're going to have to run a setup, which I'll show you later, for each content area. So since no one teaches everything, uh, you only have a few to set up. The BoardWorks product launcher, if you double click that, it will open up to this. And since I already set up middle school history, it finds the file, and
and when you click on it and click OK, it breaks it down even more. For some states, it actually has the state standards. Uh, for Pennsylvania, it doesn't, so you would browse by topic and launch the individual PowerPoint slides. Going back to the content areas, if you double click PC version, you might have to do that twice. And let's say you were teaching math. And you're teaching elementary school math, and it's already set up for Pennsylvania standards. You click all the way in until you get to the bottom of the folder, and you see the setup file. And it says application. You double click that. And you get that message which says, do you want to allow it to run? You click yes. And then it gives you a little message here. And all you do is fo you follow through all, on all of the prompts. Uh, you click install. It runs through the installation. It says welcome. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click next. You want the complete. Next. Install. And again, it may take a few minutes. And it'll give you the message that the installation is complete. You click Finish. And then you can close File Explorer. You can minimize Chrome. And you should have the Boardwalks, Boardworks, I'm sorry. In your dashboard down here. If you don't, you can always search for it over here under Boardworks. Now, the only thing you may ever have to do if elementary school math or whatever content area you choose doesn't show up, you have to go over to the settings, the three dots over here and click Product Locations, and click Add a Custom Location. If it can't find the files, you have to tell it where on your PC they are. And that's as simple as just navigating to the Download folder and selecting it. If you have that problem, I can always help you through that. So now with the math content, click on it, click OK. And it shows you show learning standards or browse by topic, and you can go through all of that. That's pretty much it for setting it up. If you have any problems, just send me a text or an email.